Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's final show of the 2016-2017 athletic season, we'll check in with the GLIAC champion men's tennis team. We'll update you on spring football, and we'll check in with Bulldog softball. We'll start first, though, with Bulldog tennis, joined by uh, Coach Danny Hunt. And, Coach, first of all, welcome to the show, and congratulations on the, the GLIAC championship this past weekend. Thank you, Rob. How exciting was it to be able to repeat as uh, both the conference regular season and tournament champions here for the second straight year? Really exciting. Um, obviously, a lot of changes going into this season, um, but to be able to do it again, um, we're, we're really pleased and happy with ourselves um, and just looking to continue continue moving forward. You won the uh, regular season championship here uh, last weekend uh, before you went into the conference tournament, uh, third straight year you've won that. Going into the conference tournament, you get the bye. Uh, just talk about uh, the thoughts going into the, the league tournament. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, getting that bye can be good and bad. A lot of those teams playing that first match, getting some jitters out um, and being able to get into the semifinals, you know, already having a match under your belt um, definitely can, can be helpful. Um, we, we ended up keeping our guys here in Big Rapids, uh, making the drive um, early in the morning over there on Saturday. Um, and playing Hillsdale was real tough. They came out of a 5-4 um, win over Wayne. They had um, six different points at two flights that uh, they saved clinch points that Wayne could have clinched the match. Um, so, you know, going into it, just telling the guys that these guys are amped, um, they're ready, they have all the motivation and energy in the world, and we got to make sure that we just take care of business. How'd you do uh, against Hillsdale? You got a five to one win. Uh, talk about the play of the team in, in that match. Uh, you had a two to one lead following doubles play. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, coming right out, I mean, Hillsdale had nothing to lose. Um, coming off of the win like that is, is great for them. They had all the energy in the world. They were playing really free. Um, we did drop a, a match at one doubles, which was tough. Um, but the Hillsdale, you know, they just, they stepped up. They, they were making big plays. Um, they were, you know, crashing the net hard. Uh, doing a great job taking control of the net. Um, but yeah, I mean, they just, they came out with a lot of energy and it's, it's different coming out when you're playing free, um, it, you know, and they, they did a great job. You got the uh, first three completed singles flights, four, five, and six, and those guys have been doing a, a steady job for you here all year. Yeah, they have. Um, it was, it's good. I mean, we go out there at four, five, and six. Um, they've, I think, combined, they've dropped one match, I think, one or two matches. Um, but so you know the bottom of the lineup we, we feel pretty comfortable going out but in tournament play like we were telling the guys you just you never know um, that's one of the reasons why in basketball they call it March Madness is you get the energy flowing you get the adrenaline flowing and it's really about willpower and execution um, and that's what we talked a lot going into this weekend you got the semifinal win and that sets up a, a championship match against a, a familiar opponent a longtime rival in Northwood University uh, talk about uh, going into the championship match on Sunday yeah I mean same thing as the regular season throw all the records out throw everything out it's Northwood and Ferris um, and Northwood did a great job making it to the finals um, barely getting in as the sixth seed um, to be able to go on and, and beat Tiffin right off the bat and then um, you know a huge win 5-0 over Grand Valley they were feeling the same way Hillsdale was they were playing free and they were they were ready to take a title um, back to Northwood so um, it was you know just telling the guys hey it's all the records everything previous is is out the window it's just Northwood and Ferris certainly after that great run last year uh, you guys have kind of had a, a target on their backs here all season long yeah all season long um, and the guys have stepped up every time it's it's you know going back to you know, when you, when you ha put those expectations on yourself, um, it's easy to start playing tight and tense. Um, and we're, we're finally starting to get back, you know, after the end of our regular season into this tournament, we're getting back to where the guys are feeling free again. They're, they're playing, um, they've always played with purpose, but they're just playing with that free feeling um, and getting back to, you know, having a lot of fun out on the court where I feel like the beginning of the season it was a lot of, well, we can't screw this up, we can't, you know, um, and they're, they're feeling more accomplished and more free. So we're excited going into the regional this weekend uh, to see what we can do. Very similar to the, the match against Hillsdale. You had a two to one lead following doubles play and then we're able to get the first uh, three completed singles flights uh, to pull out the victory over Northwood. Yes, yes, that was really big. Uh, especially, right, you know, one, du or one doubles and two doubles did a great job. Um, both tough matches, three doubles went up 4-0 early. Um, we were leaving a lot of volleys short and uh, Northwood just did a great job coming in and changing um, and really grabbing the momentum. And then going out in singles, um, Till at number one, Von Winning, ended up dropping the first set really quick, 0-5 um, to Austin Woody. So um, right away we were like, okay, we, you know, I knew we were in for a battle. Um, and then the guys just slowly started picking things up. Um, 
we're able to pull some first sets on a couple of the courts and you could feel the momentum shift a little bit. Um, and then when Pablo finally clinched at six, you know, it was definitely time for a celebration. Certainly a celebration that uh, in tennis uh, really adds a, a team dimension to it uh, in a match like that. Yeah, I mean, we, we talked a lot about um, just it's, it's us as a team. Um, we need everybody fighting and, and when you're, you're missing, you're feeling down on a court, you got to look to other courts and, and gain, that, uh, gain that energy, gain that positivity and look and encourage one another um, because we knew we were in for a battle all weekend. Um, but yeah, I mean, coming down where we had, you know, Stu Sell at um, three and Nuradim Iswan at four complete their matches, um, being able to sit there and wait for the, the match to clinch. And when Pablo finally clinched, everybody running out there and jumping around and dogpiling, um, it's definitely uh, was a great time, great experience for the guys. The number one team, uh, obviously, in the region here all season long. Uh, talk about the, the expectations here for the regional. Uh, expected uh, when the parents come out to, to host one of the regional sites. Yeah, I mean, for us, in terms of you know results and moving forward, um, I mean, the sky's the limit. We're not really expecting anything. We just need to continue to play free. Um, I think it's, it'd be a great opportunity to host as the one seed. We're still waiting on Jury and you, Indy, playing in the finals of theirs to see how the regional rankings really shake up. Um, but I think for us, we just got to focus on playing the opponent in front of us. Um, it doesn't matter who it is. It's, we just got to go out there and play Bulldog tennis. How important uh, is that run you had last year in the, in the postseason, the NCAA regional, obviously going to the Final Four? How, how much of uh, an advantage does that give you knowing what to expect here going into the NCAA tournament? Yeah, it's definitely it's an advantage because of that experience. We know, we know what to expect. Um, we know the battles we're going to face. Um, but it's it also going to back to, you know, we got to look at it. This is a whole new year, whole new team. Um, we're going to be playing different teams as well. So it's, it's just about playing the team in front of us and playing free. You mentioned Till Von winning earlier, uh, named the GLIAC Player of the Year. Uh, talk about that accomplishment, certainly uh, from the progress he's made from year one to year two. Yeah, he made a huge jump. Um, coming in as our two player, did a great job last year, but, um, and he can attest that making a jump from one and two is definitely a jump. Um, and it wasn't just his singles play, it was him and Stu Sell, his partner, were 9-0 and going into the GLIAC tournament um, at one doubles, which is, which is really big. Had some big wins at one doubles as well. Um, so yeah, I think all in all, he just he continues to step up and continues to rise his level, um, and it, it's great to see him win something like that and be honored that way. Finally, here, uh, what does it take to, to make another deep uh, postseason run here in the NCAA tournament? I think the biggest thing is just like we've said over and over again, playing free, um, just throwing all expectations out, and, and knowing that whoever's in front of us is keeping us from continuing on and, and playing with that eagerness and hunger every match. Well, Coach, congratulations again on the GLIAC Championship, both the regular season and the tournament. Best of luck here in the NCAA tournament coming up. Thank you, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.